Well, hello there, and welcome to my ch 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 channel. There you are. Okay, so I went to Target like a week ago, and I picked this up. I think it's new because I haven't seen anyone else review it. If you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews normally in the car, but it's been hot here in Texas, so I'm doing my 70s kitchen. This is the Tattoo Shelf Plant-Based Cheese Enchilada. It's a corn tortilla with plant-based cheddar cheese, black beans, and roasted red bell peppers. It's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free. It's gluten-free, too. Vegan, soy-free, excuse me, 14 grams of protein. With black bean Spanish-style rice, and it's grain-free rice. So, that's interesting. And the tortilla is made with almond. So, let's get right on there. It's a pretty big container. And this is what it looks like. I did stick it in the microwave for two minutes, and I think it said five, which I'm like, what? Yeah, four to five minutes. I have a powerful microwave, and I do not want to overcook this. Because if it's undercooked, you can add more, but if it's overcooked, well, then what do you do then? Mmm. The rice is pretty good. It has a little bit of a bitterness. It's not too spicy. But the texture is really throwing me off. I'm wondering what the rice is made out of because it's not... Oh, oh! The Spanish rice alternative is pre-cooked chickpea pasta. Lentil pasta. Hmm. Maybe that's where I'm getting a little bit of a bitterness. You know, because a lot of times these uh, frozen meals, when they do like rice free, that's like rice, but it's not as like cauliflower. Yeah. The texture's throwing me off. It's, it's, it's good, though. It's decent. And the black beans. Mm, something smells good. Mm, black beans need to be cooked a little bit more. It's kind of hard. Mm. The weird thing is these are really... These are real black beans. Ooh. It has a buttery, almost like a margarine taste. All right. I actually like the texture better on the fake rice than I do the real beans. These beans, they're not cooked all the way. Uh-uh. This is what the inside of the enchilada looks like. Is there black beans? Oh, I guess there is inside the enchilada. For a cheese enchilada, there's not that much cheese inside there. Mmm. The cheese enchilada is... I like the flavors. Mmm. Okay. The flavor of the tortilla is really good. The texture is a little bit off, but not by much. Mmm. The inside of the enchilada, I'm really digging. But there's not cheese in it. It's like there's veggies and... I don't know if you can see that. So I'm from Texas. And I'm used to Tex-Mex. It does have a cheesy taste though. But it's more of a buttery cheesy taste. It's reminiscent of like margarine, but not in a bad way. Um, so I'm from Texas and I'm used to Tex-Mex and this enchilada, I was, I've been to Santa Fe, New Mexico with my significant other. And we were there. I noticed the food there was, um, was different than Tex-Mex, right? 
And I don't know, it was it was milder. Like Tex-Mex food is like punchier in the face, like boom, it's just there, right? And when we went to Santa Fe, New Mexico, the food there was more um it had instead of that like punch you in the face flavor, it was more of a mild flavor, but there was more layers of flavor that you could taste as you were eating it like layers and this enchilada the inside at least reminds me of that let me try to get the sauce the sauce is way over here on the side it's like a red sauce mm. the red sauce is a looks like a tomato paste mm. You see, you see how the side got caked up the dry cheese that like all dried out? That's why I didn't want to overcook this. I assume like all the cheese went to the side and got caked up on the side. Oh, well, the cheese I just tasted though, that's for vegan cheese. It's really buttery. Like, I've had quite a lot of vegan cheeses before, but this cheese, and I noticed that on another one of their products on the tattooed shelf, the cheese had like a buttery taste. Mmm. The inside of this in July reminds me of like a tamale with like a whole bunch of like veggies and it tastes like homemade it doesn't, the inside of the enchilada, the flavor, doesn't taste like a frozen meal. Yeah, I think I would get this again. Um, I just wish the beans, the beans are just, they're not cooked all the way. Hmm. If I had choice though, but if like, if they just sold the enchilada, like a four pack, or three pack, you know, if I could get like three of this enchilada and no rice and beans and I even paid more, I would do that. I would definitely do that. So the rice and beans, I give it a low score, especially the beans, which is really sad. The enchilada, even though I think it should be like more like a tamale, the inside. Mmm. And it's so buttery. There's something about the enchilada that is so buttery. But like I said, the inside doesn't really have... Oh, here we go. That's the inside of the enchilada. There's no cheese. Um, The enchilada, though, I'm giving it like an eight... All right, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try. Mmm. There's a company called Siete. They're in Austin, Texas. And I believe they have um, tortillas made with almond flour. And since this is made with almond flour, I think I'm going to start buying them. If it tastes anything like this. And there's like a light, delicate sweetness to this um, tortilla too. All right, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know the other foods you want me to try. That's only to my subscribers. So you guys subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And don't forget to look below the video. There's the comments. Uh, hopefully, or if I remember right, to put a way to support this channel. And then also, like, all kinds of goodies down there. And we can talk and stuff. And then when I get a 1,000 subscribers, when you tell your friends and family, then I'll go live and we can talk one-on-one -on -one interaction. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.